Hello. So we are back here, yeah? same Monday. We just finished that laptop with the smoke. So let's start this one. This is a HP laptop. It's a HP model 15-AY0A2NA. Okay. What's the problem with this one? The charger is plugged in. And we have no light there, and also it's not coming on. Yeah, we can press the power, but well, nothing will happen. Okay, so this laptop was booked in uh, for no power, left with charger. What we can check? Charger, we can check the charger. Yeah, that's what we can check. The charging port is looking fine, I checked before. So we have 20 volts. You can see there on the multimeter 20 volts. So the charger is good. So I believe we have a motherboard problem. I don't think it's the charging port. <clears throat> we can have like a frozen uh, super IO. Can be. Can be. We have screws here. Yeah, we have screws. Yes, we Okay. So again, yeah, the key is the key is the speed, the speed is the key, yeah? so we have to do this quickly. I still have holiday this week, so I just came here just to fix quickly what jobs are, you know, are here to be fixed, because the customer cannot wait like two weeks. It should be done quickly, we have so many jobs, so many, so many. All the screws are out. Let's open the laptop. Okay, thank you. one more screw somewhere here it is one more oh sorry the back cover is coming out good Okay, so what do we check first? First, we plug the charger. That's... Yeah. And we check the voltage on the, on the motherboard, obviously. Multimeter. Plus, minus. And we have 20 volts. You can see there, 20 volts. 20 volts. So we have, we have voltage on the motherboard. Okay, what do we check next? Next, 
this is a new model next we check the 19 volts power rail okay, this is the new model with the new power supplies probably it's on the other side we have the, the, the chip which is driving the nothing here what about here I can see here some MOSFETs big capacitors and we have 0 0.8 okay that's not good let me take out this metal thing Oh, let me take out the charger. Okay. The thing is, I I can't track anything on this side of the board. Let me take the Wi-Fi card. You see, the plus is going on the other side of the board, so I suppose I have to take the board out. cable here and we are ready so we have a E and E super IO chip what we can see more power supplies MOSFETs from the power supply so probably the coils on the other side same here to MOSFETs. Okay, so we can see here is the charging port, and here we have like MOSFETs. One, two. So I suppose, yeah, it's coming here, here, yeah. Okay, so this is the input circuit. You remember on the last laptop we, we. We, I explain about same things, the input circuit with two MOSFETs and the current sensor. So let's check on this one. <clears throat> so I checked on the other side of the board, we have the charging port here. Plus is here. And the plus, the plus truck is coming on this side here. Yeah. From here is coming this carbon resistor coming to this MOSFET and this MOSFET is coming here to this MOSFET yeah and from this MOSFET we have the current sensor and we have our main 19 volts power rail yeah so let's try maybe it's like the last one yeah no let's plug the charger and check first yeah let's plug the charger now let's check together volts okay so on the input, yeah, we have 20 volts. You can see there, oh, sorry, 20 volts. Output of this MOSFET, we have 0 0.8. So my question is, yeah, on this, this chain, yeah, it's a chain. I should have 20 here, 20 here, 20 here, 20 here, 20 here, 20 here, yeah? Because this is the main power rail, you know, it's the main one. Everything is getting power from this power rail. So what I will do, I'll unplug the charger, yeah. Hopefully we'll see a big explosion again. And I will come with the power supply on that current 
resistor, current sensor, resistor, however you want to tell him. So ground plus, and it's not short. Okay. So we have no short. So what's the reason why that uh, MOSFET is not open? What is the reason? Because there should be a reason. These two MOSFETs from the input are for for the laptop protection, you know. Whatever happened wrong, the laptop will cut will cut down the, the power on the with these MOSFETs. Actually it's only one which is doing this job. But what is the reason? Hmm? You don't know? I don't know. Because those monsters are controlled by a, by a power management chip. But what I will do, yeah, what I want to do, I want to jump to bridge this MOSFET just to have like 19 volts on my main power rail and see if the load will be starting and starting and it's working, you know. Maybe the MOSFET is, is dead, is burned, or maybe it's another reason. But before checking why is there, what is the reason, I want to see if the motherboard is good. Because if you have like a super uh, super IO, a dead super IO, you can't really fix it because this comes with the BIOS. It's inside. This co this chip is programmed before, so you cannot replace with a blank chip. You have to replace with a chip from same motherboard, or or that's it. This 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 is the only option for us. Just to get a programmer and program that's that's proper long. It's it's not it's a time consuming and we are not doing this. That's the shop policy, so you know, any job should be done quickly. We can't spend days on a, on a laptop. So what I will do, I will use a wire to bridge that MOSFET, like how we did on the video from before, yeah. I'm just heating up the motherboard a little bit, so it will be more easy to solder the wire. Using flux, flux is good, flux is healthy, yeah. For solder, I mean. It is on focus, yeah, it is. So let's solder a wire and jump. Uh, use this. Okay, now I'll jump here. Yeah, let me grab a wire. If I can find a wire, it's here. Okay, so let's see now. Let's check now what happened because we have no short there. I'll plug the charger and we have light. Yeah, 
check on the charger you see the LED it's on so I'll unplug this I'll try <coughs> oh, I should not be here I'm proper ill I should be home I just want to see if the laptop is working well where is the power on button power this is the power on button let's see if it's working on it's working but it's no heat sink on the CPU but it's okay yeah so I think this video will end now yeah from a simple reason it's working it's just you know it's it's your choice how you fix this yeah so if you have more time to spend spend more time find exactly the problem replace the MOSFET okay do whatever you think is right okay but I will stop on this point it's a 15 minute job the price is quite low I know what that MOSFET is doing the laptop will be fine without it from a simple reason I have a second I have a I have one MOSFET in uh, the front of this one I have another MOSFET for protection yeah all the power supplies from the laptop are protected against shorts and I have the big protection it's on the charger itself yeah so actually if you do a short on the charger the power supply the charger will goes off so are so many protections nothing really can go wrong okay anyway I'll stop now I just give you an idea you know they just take this like it's an inf informational video don't think like you have to do it on the same way yeah just take the information out this how you how we can diagnose that, that thing you know the, the steps so if I will do it on different way let's say okay the current is not passing that MOSFET let's check why it's not passing and you start checking and checking and checking and on some point let's say you fix it and oh okay my CPU is dead or my super IO is dead and you spend time for nothing so that's why I'm trying to give the laptop like to bring the power the, 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 the main power rail up to see if everything is working yeah and if everything is working you can start checking only if you want you can start checking exactly what's going on and why that MOSFET is not uh, carrying the power okay but anyway always but always try to be better than me yeah don't try to be like me try to be better thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like this video and see you on the next one I can't believe so this CPU has no heat sink and it's like 30 degrees <laughs> okay see you on the next one bye